All right, I'm working on my uh, one of my panels. It's a circuit breaker panel to distinguish my districts. Got six of them right now. I did leave extra space over here on the right if I wanted to add any more. As of right now, I'll separate them into uh, the towns and yards, seaside, uh, Smithville, Gasco Yard, staging, uh, my mount up, up on the mountain. So as I wired up, I'll take different videos. I got some leads coming from uh, this one here is coming from the staging track. Got another one, Smithville, and the other one is coming from Seaside in the back there. I'll hook them up uh, on the right side of each breaker, circuit breaker. That's going to track power. This is going to DC or DCC. What is DC? I can't remember that. It's been so long. But um, that'll go to my distribu distribution here. This wire going up, that's going over to my Pro Cab, my command station. Drop these in. I'll get uh, like brother P Touch labels, P Touch each one of the uh, towns, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, got it wired up. So here's the uh, terminal strip coming from the command station. Got a white and red going to each circuit breaker district. And on the DCC side, track side, comes out and goes through the panel that I made here. This panel uh, is actually just half inch plywood scrap piece I had laying around. and. Uh, Primed it, I sanded it, primed it with a couple of coats of just Zinzer, I think it was. Nothing big. So I got each one. I'll probably bind these up, tighten them up a little bit. Running each. So this will be uh, Seaside, Town of Seaside. This is Smithville. This will be Gasco Yard. That's the transfer yard. That one. Not sure which one I'm going to run to that one there. This one back here on the bottom, that is the staging over this way behind me, or to the left of me, that's where the staging is. So it's all set. Let me see if I can flip this on and uh, I'll show you what the breakers do and exactly what happens when there is a short. Okay, so I'm going to switch on the uh, breakers now. I'm going to switch on the command station, the whole system, and you'll see the lights come on that have the wires hooked up. We'll get a light on this one, we'll get a LED on this one, we'll get an LED on this one. Actually, we'll get LEDs on all of them, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but then I'll short um, one of them to show you. This will be the town of Smithville. So that district I will short, and you'll see this one flash and trying to reset. All right, system's on. You can hear some of the sound locos that I have. You can see the LEDs showing power going to all of the circuit breakers. LEDs on all six. I will short this one, you'll see it flash. That's the town of Smithville. Alright, you see it flashing, it's trying to reset about every two seconds. I'm going to take that off now. Alright, so now it's reset, trains would run. You did still hear the sound loco in the back. That never did shut off. If there were locos in the uh, town of Smithville, they would have shut down on that district. But this one here was controlling the staging in the back. It kept going. So that's uh, proof that these breaking it into districts to manage your power and your shorts, uh, it works. Good system. This part here, let me zoom in a bit. Alright, 
looking at here. Yeah, there's your indicator showing power. This is the programming jumper here. These outputs are for manual resets if I wanted, or the one the first two are for LED indicators on my fascia panel. Eventually I might run that there just to show. Uh, I'm debating on that. These jumpers here, these are what you can set uh, the different amps to when it shorts out. I think the factory setting is 2.5. I think it goes all the way up to... Now let me get the manual, I'll tell you. Alright, it'll short up to 8 amps. Uh, nowhere near what I want to do. You can see on the printout, no jumpers, 2.5 amps. As you put the different jumpers in, different configurations, you can go all the way up to 8 amps if you wanted to. Here's the schematic, got the DCC command station power coming in, track, uh, power going out to the tracks, that's the LED light and reset that I was telling you about, indicators, and the section for the jumpers. Pretty simple system. Uh, NCC, NCE does a good job manufacturing, developing their products. I recommend them. Any questions? Put it down below. Rate, subscribe. I do the same for you. Shoot me an email, shoot me questions, shoot me suggestions. By no means am I an expert at this, but uh, I'm learning as I go. Aren't we all? Alright guys, see you later.